Hello everyone, this is going to be a little tutorial on uh, installing the new AT&T over the air update. Uh, so first before we start, uh, when you're using the Guru resets um, with the Aroma installer that have the stock recovery included, which is going to be a mandatory uh, necessity for getting the over the air updates, remember that in order to write a recovery to your system it needs to be unlocked so if on your bootloader screen yours still shows locked or you relocked it for some reason you need to go ahead and unlock your bootloader before you can install the recovery via the guru reset tool so to begin we're just going to go ahead into recovery and choose the guru reset file I tend to prefer TWRP for my recovery, but the same options uh, are in Clockwork Mod. I'm just going to choose Install and browse to our Guru Reset. Uh, we'll do the 502.15, which is the latest, and go ahead and start that. It's going to go ahead and show the splash screen for the website, and then the installer should start and we'll see the version info uh, up here at the top if we have focus and let's step through it so here we just have to agree to our terms and we have our credits page and whether or not we want to wipe we really should wipe anytime that we're we're doing this um, so go ahead and choose to wipe the data partition. It's not going to affect any of your downloaded files on your SD card. For the tweaks we want to go ahead and leave off root access because we're uh, getting this back to stock so that we can take the OTA updates. Here we need to make sure that we do select this stock recovery because that's going to be important to actually getting that OTA update to install. It's not a necessity to install the stock radio because that OTA update is going to update our radio anyway. And we'll go ahead and just let the Aroma installer go ahead and start. And it just takes a few minutes. Uh, it's going to wipe all of our old partitions, flash everything with the stock ROM for the AT&T, which is going to be 1.26.502.15. And that should be the latest one, the latest version prior to the current release of the Android 4.3, which is 3.17.502.3. Uh, so one other thing to note in this demonstration is um, I'm actually running a firmware that is uh, above the 1.26 level. So it means once this stock ROM is installed, I'm not going to have working touch screen. Now, most users aren't going to have that problem. Um, and if you're S off, you can simply flash back an older firmware version so that you would have touch screen. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just use a on the go cable. You can purchase these at um, you know Amazon for like five bucks. And this is just going to allow us to use a mouse when that stock ROM boots back up. And that um, will allow us to get on our network and take the OA, uh, the over-the-air update. So we just choose Next here. It takes us back to Recovery, which is actually blown away. This is just still in memory. And we're going to choose to Reboot. Here it's picked up that we don't have super user installed. We want to make sure to choose do not install. And now it's going to go ahead and boot the stock ROM. And we'll go ahead and pick back up after this stock ROM is booted. So now that the stock ROM is all booted up, we're ready to go ahead and maneuver through to get that OTA update. And we can see that I have a uh, cursor 
and pointer and that's from the uh, mouse that I had plugged in with the on the go USB port we're just gonna cancel out of the AT&T setup and walk through the HTC setup we will need to connect to a um, Wi-Fi network in order to download the OTA update even though it would be much faster it is pretty large um, the update so I'm sure that's why they don't want it occurring on their LTE network here we can just skip all of this and so now we have this basic stock ROM loaded everything should be working we see uh, we have working 4G LTE connectivity and our Wi-Fi is online so we should be ready to go ahead and just go into settings and scroll down to the bottom and you should see the AT&T software update um, make sure that we're not choosing the option that's in about and then software updates we actually need to choose the AT&T software updates and then just touch or click on check for updates It should go ahead and talk to the AT&T servers and ask if there's any updates available. And here it says, new update is going to be downloaded. So we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll see that that latest update uh, is 565 megabytes. So it's going to take quite a while. So we won't actually sit through this whole download on the video. But essentially, you can see that this works. Um, the over the air update will go ahead and install when it's complete that will go ahead and update your firmware as well so you'll then be running the latest AT&T firmware and software of 3.17.502.3 at that point in time if you want you can go ahead and just flash uh, your custom recovery back on there and from within TWRP you could root it and um, when you boot back up, just install your preferred super user app from the Play Store and you'll be good to go. That's it.